Hello, my name is Regina Finta. Our research is about the effect of diaphragm training on lumbar stabilizer muscles. We would like to show a new concept for improving segmental stability in case of the low back pain. Let's see the local stabilizing muscles of the lumbar spine. Here you can see lumbar multifidus muscle, pelvic floor muscles, this is transversus abdominis muscle and diaphragm muscle at the top. In our research program, we applied a diaphragm strengthening training. We postulated that this type of training increases the thickness not only of the diaphragm, but that of other stabilizer muscles and would be effective in reducing the severity of low back pain. We divided 52 low back pain subjects into diaphragm training and control group. The members of both groups participated in the same exercise program during the complex training. Besides this, the diaphragm training group used a Power Breeze Medic Plus device. All participants were subjected to an ultrasonography to measure the thicknesses of the stabilizer muscles in two positions, lying and sitting, and in two states of the muscles, in contraction and relaxation. We also assessed the severity of pain. Both of the groups took part in their eight-week-long training. After the intervention, we assessed the thicknesses and the severity of pain again. Both of the groups show significant improvement in the severity of pain, however it was more significant in the control group. Concerning the muscle's thickness, we found that in case of the control group, there wasn't any significant change after the training. Contrary to this, in case of the diaphragm training group, significant increases in thickness were recorded in all the assessed muscles in lying and in sitting position as well. Based on our results, it can be stated that the severity of pain has been improved by the interventions, therefore both training method is a possible way to broke the vicious cycle in low back pain. The differences between the groups in the change of the thickness of the stabilizer muscles indicate that the additional diaphragm training has an extra advantage compared to a conventional complex training program alone. It increased the thickness not only of the diaphragm but also of the other stabilizer muscles such as transversus abdominis and multifidus muscle. We suggest further consideration focusing on whether diaphragm training alone would be a new therapeutic approach for those who are not capable of performing conventional exercises. Thank you for your attention.